My name is Carla Canestrari, and I am interested in the study of humor. Experimental phenomenology has widely contributed to this area since the 1930s, when Schiller and Mayer referred to a configurational theory of humor. In particular, it has helped in the investigation into the structure of the configuration of humorous texts. In the 90s, Metz, Gogol and Smith overtly connected their analysis of humor through the classic perceptual laws of Gestalt. In more recent years, what we know about contrast as a visual phenomenon has been used to better understand how contrast works in humor. Contrast is a key element of humor since humor plays precisely on creating and then solving an incongruity. So in 2000, Colson and O'Brien distinguished a number of different types of verbal irony. For example, contrast of kind or contrast of magnitude, and they place the underlying mechanisms to this in relation to two well-known perceptual phenomena, cross-contrast and assimilation. Hyperboles and understatements use contrast of magnitude and therefore the assimilation phenomenon, while classic irony plays on a contrast of kind, enhancing the perception of difference as in a visual contrast phenomenon. In recent years, I have also been working with some colleagues from the Experimental Phenomenology of Perception Lab in Macerata and Verona to show that the rules underlying the perception of opposites as a perceptual phenomenon help to explain how people understand humor and irony. In conclusion, experimental phenomenology has in many ways revealed the important intersubjective conditions that make something humorous.